So my Lava Jantus has been fitted with a magical adamantine chastity belt. Wow, I just never imagined that there was such a thing. But this is meant to be my punishment for allowing him to speak his mind against the matron mothers. Well, it is certainly odd timing considering the situation that we are currently in. We've refrained from being intimate other than hugs and some tender kisses since I have lost my soul. Why? Well, it should be quite evident. I'm not myself, not at all. My ability to feel compassion or even love has quite diminished. It's not gone completely. I can still feel something for Jantus and Imowen, my to-be husband and my sister. But we've just not been in a very comfortable position to make love since Spellhold. It would be nice to take a day or two and just have some us time, but then in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking about getting my soul back from Arenicus before it's too late. There will be plenty of time for the two of us once things with my nemesis Arenicus have been finished. But I did promise that we would get married when we returned with Imowen, so let's just do it. Maybe take a day for us to try and see how I'm doing. The ironic thing now is that since he's been fitted with a chastity belt, now all I can think of is us getting together in bed again. I may be losing good emotions such as love, but my body still has urges, like everyone else. Negative emotions can easily come to the surface, but I've been doing everything to control that. So far, things have been okay since Spellhold, but I really have to watch it. Now it feels like our chance to be intimate have been put on indefinite hold until we can get out of the Underdark. No soul, no time for a Jantus and myself, and certainly no sex. Well, that all just makes me want to become the slayer on these drow just for the sake of it. Almost. We return to this tank where this creature spoke to me through my mind like an illithid would. He wanted me to Without retrieve doubt. this brain from Kulu, the drow priestess. Hear my will. You return. Let me see your thoughts. Let me see what you have accomplished. Thoughts enter my mind. I see their ways more clearly. I see the faith. Yes, this will be most useful. Okay. I assume we are through. I wish to leave your presence with all haste, creature. Go. You are freed and dismissed. Your secret is your reward. I leave you to your petty concerns. Speak not of me, or you will be exposed to all. I don't even know what you are. Excuse me. It can't Durgar. Be bad enough without ye bother on me. My master will speak for himself if you approach a tank. I am merely his servant. Okay. Curious to know what else that they sell before we're so rudely interrupted. Welcome to my store, sister. You will find my blades true and sharp. None are better. But remember, well, that I will not replace anything once it has been exposed to the surface world. Adamantine weapons and armor decay once outside of Loth's dark embrace. Is there nothing that can stop such decay? No, and of course we would wish it no other way. It would be a great insult for those of another race to carry drow weapons. Doesn't that make extended forays to the surface difficult? The drow do not make extended forays to the surface. There is nothing above that we need. We only occasionally raid for specific reasons. You should know this. Of course, now let me see what we have in stock. Nothing very impressive at all. A robe for evil archmages. Interesting. No, there's really not much uh, uh, maze. Something Aerie could scribe. And as for, let's see, gold ring, garnet gem. I don't think I have anything to sell. And it's too bad we can't take these things with us. These drow weapons. Dragon's Breath. Sell that. Uh, can you identify this dagger? This seemingly simple dagger, a steel blade and bone handle, is an incredibly powerful weapon. Forged by an unfortunate Durgar smith centuries earlier, the handle was carved from a tooth of a black dragon, and the blade was tempered in the blood of its creator. How it has made its way to me is anyone's guess. And no one uses such a thing. 
So I guess Quickly we'll sell and it. Precisely. Let's see what you have to offer. Uh, who has that bone blade? Okay. Well, we have a little bit of time to look around. Oh, these must be slaves of some kind or monsters. Drow. We'll walk apart from I greet you, female, queen, in the name of the Spider Queen the and all the glory that is Usnatha, the first city. Would you care to take a look at the wares I have available? What wares are you talking about? The beast cage behind me, of course. They are in source to obey commands for a short time. Amusing as pets, although they won't follow for long, I'm afraid. A few of the fighting sisters have been buying my stock for target practice. It happens to be a good living. Are you interested, perhaps? What creatures do you have available? Hmm. I still have a strong knoll captured leading a group of his fellows to the surface. A torture dance then sold to me, but it is healthy. 500 gold piece for that one. Let's see, I still have one of the regenerating trolls left. A patrol party captured it not far from the city. Stupid beast, but strong. 750 gold pieces for that one, if you wish it. Hmm, I have a spirit troll. I do not know much about it. A warrior sold it to me two months ago. Difficult to feed, but it certainly is powerful. A thousand gold pieces. Ah, yes, I have one of the Umber Hulks left still. The sisters love these ones. Difficult to kill, I understand. I charge 1,500 gold piece for that one. That's it, actually, at the moment. Care to make a purchase, then? No, I don't think so. As you wish, female. Another time, perhaps. Yeah, I have no, absolutely no use for any of those. Hello? What do you sell? Male. Do not question the matron mothers. Enter and welcome to my store. I offer potions of drow design, as well as the work of the finest enslaved alchemists. What have you need of, sister? I would have thought drow potions finer than any other. Why carry anything else? There is nothing better than drow craftsmanship or alchemy, but we also take what we wish from those undeserving. You should know this. Of course. May I see your inventory now? Actually, not bad potions. Oh, we can buy these. Extra healing. Ah, uh, Caligon's Amulet of Magic Resistance. Huh. Don't we have... It's actually not that expensive. I'll buy that. 10% Magical Resistance. But who could wear a necklace? I'm wearing a keepsake locket. Ah, uh, poor Giantus. Poor me. Amulet of... Oh, so this is twice as good as the amulet he's wearing. We could probably sell this amulet. It was 5%. Caligan's Amulet of Magic Resistance. This particular amulet has the initials KP on its back surface. KP, or Caligan Puno, was the general of a small force sent into the woodlands to clear out red wizards. Being particularly fearful of magic, he wore this amulet into battle. Overconfident in the protection offered by this amulet... Caligan finally died when he foolishly ambushed three high-level red wizards who lowered his magic resistance before destroying him with their spells. Speak. Well, I took hesitation. this on a surface raid. So, you can buy it for me. Bit of an upgrade to what we had. What are they doing here? I wonder how long it will stand this. This internal mockery must end. This is a talkative one. Shut up, creature. So, they've summoned a djinn and they're kind of torturing it. Maybe practicing on it? We will maintain its physical form as long as it's needed. I don't think so. Let my spirit return to my home plane. Ah. You dare, foolish female. Your clumsy attack has freed our target. What have you to say for yourself? Hmm. A simple accident. What benefit is there if I do not take advantage and experiment? This was not your property to take risks with. I have no objection to the occasional jab, but intentionally destructive behavior against my possessions? I think perhaps this compensa that compensation is necessary. I have no use for your head, but a sizable donation to the coffers of my house might appease me. Ugh. 
What say you, fool? Have you coin enough to satiate my bloodlust? I have the right to kill you where you stand. Then I will do what I must to appease you, mistress. As you should. I expect a sizable donation to my house. I demand, oh, 4,000 gold pieces. That should suffice. 4,000. Very well, but you are an absolute slave driver. The family trade has little to do with this. Go, and I'm done with you. This will not take long. I didn't think that they would yes. notice with all the spells that they were casting on it. But I guess it's kind of obvious. With all the arrows that I was sticking out of it. That I made stick out of it. Let's go. You See must enough gather of this your place. party before venturing. If forth. it must be done. A drow recreation. I have no idea what exactly this will be. All these people around here. There's Fair and Solifane. Ah, it is you again. Ah, so Veldrin arrives at last to greet the female that she rescued so valiantly from the clutches of the filthy devourers. Ah, I must have been invisible and uninvolved during that encounter, I see. I was speaking to Veldrin, Solifane. When I speak to you, it shall be to command you to lick my boot. Keep your bitterness silent or lose your tongue. Now, ignore your emasculated commander's outburst, Veldrin, and consider this a time for reward and enjoyment. Mother Ardulace was pleased by your performance. Solifane's abilities are known to her, but she was delighted to learn you are such a powerful fighter. Ustnatha could use such as you, Veldrin. Amongst the drow, only the strong survive. You could have slaves at your beck and call, rewards at your fingertips, the favor of wealth. How does this sound? Sounds good to me. Excellent! It is good to see someone with a modicum of ambition. Something not everyone has a true grasp of. Isn't that right, Solifane? Perhaps she has not yet seen the hook behind the worm, Fair. The ignorant are always blissful. Sometimes the worm is worth the hook, fool. One might have thought you would have learned that lesson long ago. Seeing as you are so capable, Veldrin, you and Solifane have been given another task to complete for the greater glory of Loth. You will meet me on the city platform, away from curious ears, but not right away. Rest and amuse yourself for a while. I shall be here a while. After I leave, take no longer than a few days before you meet with me on the platform. This is as the matron mother commands, and so it shall be. <sighs> okay. Solophane. I do what I must, when I must. What is it, Veldrin? Know this well. I wish nothing more than to be left on my own and beyond the clutches of that Despana witch. What's the deal between you and Fair, anyway? That is something I would rather not discuss, Veldrin, with you or with anyone. Suffice it to say that I have had dealings with Fair and House Despana once before. Due to my own alliances, however, they cannot take proper revenge. Yet. Okay. Do you know anything about dragons in these caverns? Eh? Dragons? Dragon kind can be found throughout the Underdark, Veldrin, as I'm sure you well know. Some walk amongst our kind when it suits them. But in the vicinity of Usnatha, I would have to say no. There are a few dragon kind found here. The most dangerous were driven off long ago. It is said that there is an ancient dragon of silver that guards the old passages to the surface, where our hated cousins live. Perhaps the stories are true. Yes, I'm surprised everybody isn't aware of that silver. What is there to do here? There are many entertainments to please, even the most cruel or lustful among us, Veldrin. I am sure you can find something. I myself am rather uninterested. Okay, I'll be on my way then. As you wish. Yes, he just... it, it came to his done. mind last about the Silver Dragon. Would have thought that everybody would know about that. Preventing them from going on the surface that way. Probably the easiest route to the surface. The quickest route. Hello. To walk from house and creed. Greetings, you female. You are one who is recently from Chednasad, correct? I have heard of you. We drow gather to tell tales of our conquests on the surface. Or dark stories of our past. It is tradition in Usnatha, this place that was the first. What do you mean, the first? Hmph. <laughs> you do not know your lore very well if you do not understand what I speak of, female. Surely you know something of our history, no? 
Long ago, when our despised cousins of the surface betrayed our kind and banished us to the depths, it was near this very place that the drow first descended. A terrible legion, we encountered implacable foes at every turn throughout the Underdark. It was in this place that we first gathered together to protect ourselves. Usnatha means the first. The first place we gathered. The first place we wrested our birthright of power back from the sentence of our hated cousins. It is from Usnatha that we invaded the cities of the Stout Folk and established the first, greatest kingdom of Talantawar and wondrous Berendin. Berendin and Talantawar both are gone now, but Usnatha remains, a reminder of the debt of blood we owe to our hated service brethren. So Usnatha is close to the surface then. Not close, but closest. The passage that winds to the surface is very near here. It is guarded, however, by the great silver beast and close to us. Okay, now they're talking. That makes more sense the way they're talking now. Guarded? What would happen, say, if the passage were no longer guarded? There are many other wards against us, I believe, but the Silver Beast is the greatest amongst them. If it were no longer guarding the passage, I have no little doubt that we would overcome the other wards and pay our hated kindred a long overdue visit. Can I ask you some questions, perhaps? If you wish an honest answer, female, your best course would be to approach Nim Kalaza over there. He is the eldest of this group and the most prone to talk. Do you have any tales to tell, then? I have few accomplishments yet, female. I completed the blooding but a year ago, when I made a long voyage to the surface with two brothers. It is a blinding and foul place, the surface. My brothers and I found one of the surface elves, however, a female, pale and delightful to look upon. She was almost too easily slaughtered. We were hunted by elven patrols, and my brothers were murdered, but I carried the head of the female back to the Underdark. It was considered a fine trophy for a blooding, my matron was pleased and has sponsored my entry into the Male Fighter Society next year. Any other tales you could tell me? No, not really. I came here more to hear the others speak myself. I guess we should Certainly. listen to what they have to say then. Victory for the spider Greetings, queen. lovely female. I am Sordan, the manager of the fighting pit. Entertainment for us all and a chance to gain Lolth's favor. You seem a hardy type. There are several dread beasts that have been captured and await your death blow if you dare. You are Nisadron, yes? Recently arrived? I have heard of you. There are many here who would desire to see if you fight as well as they say. Of course, if you are pale and cowardly, you need not make the attempt. The Spider Queen, however, respects only those who are strong. Okay, maybe. If we have to prove ourselves to these people. <sighs> what exactly is involved in this pit fight? It is a simple matter, female. I open the door for a short time. You enter before I close it. Once inside, I have the beast pushed in to fight you. If you win, you come out and collect 250 gold pieces as a reward, and the satisfaction of a glorious battle. You lose, the slave feasts on your remains. Very simple. Hmm, what sort of beast would I be fighting? We capture our foes in skirmishes in the dark tunnels, female. Shark fiends, devourers, eye tyrants. It depends on who survives longest, really. Oh, those are devourers, like illithids and eye tyrants, so beholders. These are very tough creatures. Okay, so I don't have time for this right now, but I will return. As you wish, female. May the Spider Queen smile on your path and be merciless with your enemies. Hello? Do not question Greetings to you, others. O potent female. Stay for a time if you wish. The group of us here are sharing exploits and tales of the past. Something I doubt you Nisadrons have time for, eh? I have a tale for you, if you're interested. Something my house mother once told me, in fact. If you're of a mind, that is. Sure, I'd like to hear it. Excellent! Ha! My tale! My tale begins long ago, when our people first descended into the great depths and dark caverns. During a day when our homes were not carved out of stone and clay. Drow homes were made of twigs and black grasses grass that many had brought with them into the Underdark. There were few homes, of course, but the largest belonged to the first matriarch. The matriarch led the early hordes of Drow, helping them survive in hostile lands. She was powerful, potent, and cunning, a great boon to her people, who admired her greatly. To honor her, a group of Drow set upon the shark fiends and stole the stone throne of their king to secretly present to the matriarch 
as a trophy. They stowed it in the grass rafters of her hall. The matriarch arrived in her hall, and the drow warriors went to retrieve the throne. But much to their horror, its weight caused it to fall through the grass rafters and crush the matriarch below. It is a sad, sad tale of our early travails in this dark place, and it holds a moral as well. Can you think of the moral, female? Boo knows! Do not stow thrones in grass houses! Yes, yes, that is it, exactly! Imbecile! How dare you tell such a moronic lie about the history of our people? Loth will sentence you to an eternity of poison agony for such madness. Bah! The Spider Queen has no sense of humor. Now, Vera, on the other hand... You dare! I shall kill you in the name of the mother of all drow, fool! He is mine! No one interfere! He's just Direct not gonna fight back. Oh, well, now he chose to. Now he's running from her. <laughs> I was talking to him. Okay then. The best surfacer is a dead surfacer. Ah, I didn't see you approach. My failing eyes shall net me a blade in my back soon enough. I swear it. I should be at home. Dying properly like an old male drow, rather than here listening to tales so often. Can I ask you some questions? Go ahead and ask if you need to know something. I suppose I am old enough that I can sit still and answer a query or two. Tell me of Loth. Ah, I'll not be one to talk over much of the Spider Queen. She's a proud one, Loth is, and she rules her cities with a careful eye. If you've any sense, you'll never mention any of the other gods. Of the gods? Oh yes... Veron, the thief god, and Gonadar, the slime god of the caverns, are two of her most implacable foes. Then, of course, there is Elistrae. That kind of sells elven. The Dark Maiden is a good deity of our kind, if such a thing exists. She seeks to turn us from our path of darkness, you see. Ha! But such gods hold little truck with most of the drow. Loth is paramount. Elistrae. Hmm, a good deity. I didn't know the drow had that. I'm surprised Loth even allows it. The Spider Queen is a jealous goddess, reserving all worship for herself. Most drow will not even breathe the names of the others for fear of retribution. Myself, I am old enough to care little any longer. But surely you know all of this. I'm not saying anything that any drow would not know, yes? Overlook my long wittedness if you can. Can you tell me about House Despana? That's, I guess, the house that rules Usnatha. A strong house, branches of which you'll find in cities other than simply Usnatha. Many of the great families have their beginnings here in the first city, yes? Despana is high in Loth's favor, and many say that it schemes to place itself above all others here. I know little of such plans, however. Do you know anything about Fair or Solifang? Hmm? Oh yes, the daughter of House Despana and the commander of the male's fighter society. Oh yes, indeed. There is a history there, if you have not heard it from elsewhere. It is said that the daughter, Fair, held this Solifane in high esteem once, and not merely as a personal male, as Loth decrees. She did not use him and cast him off as a female's want. It is said that Fair held feelings for the commander that were most undrow-like indeed. The matron mother of the Despana was greatly displeased by her daughter's weakness. What was done then, who knows? It is obvious they hold no regard for each other now. Indeed, the commander would be a drider were it not for his position and favor in another house of great rank. Do you know anything about the dragons in the area? Hmm. I know of only one dragon that inhabits the near caverns of the Underdark, and that is the ancient silver beast, Adelon. She who was sent by our surface cousins to guard the old passages. Yes, that one. What can you tell me about her? It is said that the Silver Dragon once had a mate long ago. A mate who was captured by our people when we were still dwellers of the southern reaches. The heart of her mate was ripped from its body whole, as I hear. The Queen of the Drow used its heart in a ceremony of great darkness, one that angered an old, pale god of the surface elves, 
I know not which one. Does it matter? When we were driven beneath the surface, sentenced by our fiendish cousins, their god made a pact with Adelon. In return for her vow to regard the old pass to guard the old passages to the surface, he would give her what she desired most. At a time of her choosing, when she had grown old, Adelon could call on the god and he would grant her children, eggs, that would be made real by the soul of her lost dragon love. Or so the story goes. I hold little truck with it myself. But then I would never venture into those old passages just in case the tales of her presence are true. Is there any other news more recent? Perhaps you've heard of her eggs? Well, I have heard the passages to the surface are open once more. At least the matron mothers certainly believe so, gathering their armies as they are. Perhaps Adelon is dead. I know not. Go ahead and ask if you need to know something. I suppose I'm old enough that I can sit around and ask a, answer a query or two. Thank you, you've been most helpful. I'll be going now. As you wish, female. On your way, then. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.